good day students in this lecture we are going to see how to solve a problem on amplitude modulation let's look into the problem statement an audio frequency signal 10 sin 2 pi 500 t is used to amplitude modulate a carrier of 50 sin 2 pi 10 power 5 t we are supposed to calculate modulation index side band frequency amplitude of each side frequency bandwidth total power delivered to the load of 600 ohms and finally we have to draw the spectrum what is given here is an audio frequency signal which is 10 sin 2 pi 500 t and a carrier signal which is 50 sin 2 pi 10 power 5 t now let's solve this so the given is message as well as the carrier message is 10 sin 2 pi 500 t and carrier is 50 sin 2 pi 10 power 5 t now this is of the form vm sin omega mt likewise here we can write this as vc sin omega ct first let us find modulation index we know that modulation index is given by the formula vm by vc where vm is the maximum amplitude of the message and vc is the maximum amplitude of the carrier now from the given values we can find that vm is 10 volts likewise vc is 50 volts by substituting these values of vm and vc in the modulation index formula we can get modulation index as 10 by 50 which is 0.2 the next subdivision that we have to calculate is side band frequency whenever we say about side band frequency we are supposed to find lower side band frequency as well as upper side band frequency now as given here vm of t is 10 sin omega mt so we can write omega m is nothing but 2 pi 500 and we know that omega m is 2 pi fm omega m is nothing but 2 pi fm so from this we can take and write fm as 500 likewise omega c omega c it is mentioned in the problem statement as 2 pi 10 power 5 t so it is 2 pi fc into t we can write fc as 10 power 5 t 10 power 5 t which can also be written as 10 power 5 is nothing but 100 kilohertz so fc is 100 kilohertz fm is 500 hertz we have to find upper side band frequency and lower side band frequency for finding upper side band frequency the formula is fc plus fm fc is 100 kilohertz substituted here and fm is 500 kilohertz when these two are summed up together we are going to get the upper side frequency as 100.5 kilohertz next we have to find lower side frequency lower side band frequency which is given by the formula fc minus fm so it is going to be 100 kilohertz minus 500 hertz the value is 99.5 kilohertz okay the next is amplitude of each side frequency amplitude amplitude of the side bands that is we know that the amplitude of both upper side band as well as lower side band is going to be the same and it is given by m into vc by 2 where m is the modulation index vc is the maximum voltage of the carrier divided by 2 we have calculated just now that the modulation index is 0.2 and also we know that this vc is going to be 50 so it is 0.2 into 50 by 2 we are going to get the value as 5 volts 
So both upper side band as well as lower side band's amplitude is going to be now 5 volts. The next calculation is about bandwidth. Bandwidth of an AM, it is given by the formula 2FM. The total bandwidth is 2FM. So 2 into, we know that FM is 500 hertz. So 2 into 500 hertz is going to be 1000 hertz or we can write the bandwidth as 1 kilo hertz. This is the bandwidth. Next we are supposed to find power. The total power delivered to the load. We know that PT is PC into 1 plus M square by 2. PC is nothing but the carrier power. M is the modulation index by 2. And PC is given by the formula VC square by 2 into R. VC we know which is 50. R is given in the problem statement. The total power delivered to the load is 600 ohms. It is given here. So that is R. Substitute its value here. 50 square by 2 into 600 we will get the answer as 2.08 watts. Once we find what is PC then you substitute this PC in this equation PC and also you substitute M as 0.2 and simplify it. If we simplify this expression we are getting the answer PT as 2.125 watts. So the total power delivered to the load is 2.125. Next, the last subdivision is we are supposed to find frequency spectrum. The frequency spectrum can be drawn like this, right? There are three frequencies. Usually a frequency spectrum will be drawn with frequency as x-axis and amplitude as y-axis. So there are three frequencies here. Fc is the center frequency. Towards right we are going to have Fc plus Fm which is upper sideband frequency. And towards left of Fc it is going to be Fc minus Fm which is called as lower sideband frequency. And for each frequency we have represented its corresponding amplitude. So these are the amplitudes of the sidebands which is given by the formula MAVC by 2. The amplitude of the carrier is Vc which is 50 ohms. See, if uh, this drawing of frequency spectrum is asked in the problem, you should not simply draw the spectrum. But rather, you once the spectrum is drawn, you have to mark all the frequency values, corresponding values near to it. Okay. So, here in this problem, lower frequency, lower sideband frequency, we have calculated it as 99.5 kilohertz. We have represented it here. Fc, it is given in the problem itself, which is 100 kilohertz. Upper side frequency we have calculated it as 100.5 kilohertz. Likewise we have also determined the sidebands. Amplitude of the sidebands using this formula MAVC by 2 which we have calculated as 5 volts. Just mark it. And this VC maximum amplitude of the carrier signal is given in the problem itself which is 50 volts. Once all these values are marked finally we can also represent the bandwidth in the spectrum. The bandwidth is from this point to this point and we have calculated this value of bandwidth as 1 kilohertz. So this is how you have to draw the frequency spectrum and mark all the values that we have computed in the problem. Thank you.